In this video, we are going to learn about boost converter. Why we need a boost converter? Suppose think that I have a 9 volt battery and I have a load which will work only if the voltage is 24 volt. What will I do? I need to convert this 9 volt into 24 volt. Then only the bulb will glow. So here I need to boost my voltage. So I need a boost converter. So my boost converter is a DC to DC converter. And what will do? The output voltage will be greater than my source voltage. Since my output voltage is greater than source voltage, it is also known as step up converter. Output voltage is greater than source voltage. Therefore, therefore it is known as step up converter. Now, let us draw the circuit diagram. Our circuit diagram will consist of a source voltage. This is a DC voltage. See, this is a DC voltage. I am naming it as VS. That is source voltage. Now, near my source voltage, I am going to place a inductor. Okay. After that, parallel to the source voltage, I am going to place a switch. See. Now, here I am going to place a diode. Then, I am going to place my load. I am assuming that my load is a resistive load. Okay. This is my load. Load. Parallel to the load, I am going to place a capacitor. I will tell you why we need this capacitor inductor and all. See. This is a circuit of a boost converter. We have a source voltage and this is our output voltage then capacitor capacitor i'm going to name this is capacitive voltage this is my diode this is my switch s this is my inductor inductor the voltage will be vl okay now there are two mode of operation first of all i am going to turn this switch on i'm going to turn this switch on then what will happen this is my source voltage then here i have inductor now switch is on then it will be short circuit okay so this will be my circuit this is my source voltage this is my inductor voltage and here the switch is on now i am not drawing this diode why because when current is flowing it will always flow through this short circuited path instead of going here it will always prefer short circuited path current will always flow through the short circuited path so i am not drawing this diode now the remaining circuit is a capacitor and a load connected in parallel okay so capacitor voltage it is vc and load is our output so voltage it is vo okay now see these two elements are connected in parallel when elements are connected in parallel their voltage will be same when elements are connected in series their current will be same so here elements are connected in parallel so their voltage will be same so vc will be equal to vo now listen carefully now when source is supplying voltage what will happen is that through the inductor it is going so inductor will get charged at that time the polarity will be plus minus see inductor is getting charged in this circuit inductor is getting charged from source here it is plus and here it is minus so inductor is getting charged now i'm going to apply kvl kirchhoff voltage law that is sum of voltage in a closed loop will be equal to zero so here it is minus vs then plus vl equal to zero from this i will get vl equal to vs so that is my first equation when we apply kvl we will get inductor voltage equal to source voltage because inductor is getting charged so inductor voltage will be equal to source voltage now i am going to apply kcl kirchhoff current law in this loop so this is my capacitor with charge plus minus so it is going to deliver current ic okay and this is my load and it is going to get current io now when I apply KCL, Kirchhoff current law here, I will get IC plus I0 equal to 0. From this, I will get IC equal to minus I0. So this is my second equation when I apply KCL. So when I turn on the switch, inductor will get charged. At that time, I am getting inductor voltage as source voltage. And when I apply KCL, I will get capacitor current as minus I0. Okay. So our load is this one. Our load is getting supply from not from source it is getting supply from this capacitor capacitor is supplying to this output okay when switch is on when switch is on capacitor is delivering power to output because it is not connected to source now in second mode i am going to turn off this switch okay so the circuit will be first of all i will draw the source voltage then there will be inductor then i am not drawing this switch because it is open circuit switch is off so this, this is a open circuit so i am going to draw the diode then we have a capacitor then we have a load so this is a circuit when switch is off 
this is our source voltage this is our inductor voltage this is our capacitor voltage and this is our output voltage now listen i'm going to apply kvl in this loop before applying kvl i will tell you the process what is going to happen here when switch was on inductor got charged when switch is off inductor is going to discharge okay so our source voltage it is plus minus inductor voltage it was plus minus but inductor during charging the polarity will be like this during discharging the polarity reverses so this time the polarity will be like this but for capacitor there is no change in polarity during charging or discharging the polarity will be same if it is plus minus discharging also the polarity will be same but for inductor during charging the polarity will be like this during discharging the polarity reverses so this time here the during charging the polarity was plus minus so during discharging the polarity will be reversing like minus plus okay now i'm going to apply kvl in this mesh or the, in this loop so i'll get when i apply kvl kirch of voltage law sum of voltage in a closed loop is zero so i'll get minus vs minus vl then this is our capacitor plus minus okay it is getting charged so it will be plus vc equal to zero so as you can see here capacitor and load are connected in parallel when elements are connected in parallel the voltage will be same so vc equal to vo so instead of vc i'm going to write vo okay or output voltage from this i will get v output equal to vl plus vs or we can find inductor voltage from this equation that is vl equal to v out minus v source okay so this is our equation number three when switch was on we got inductor voltage as source voltage when switch is off we got inductor voltage as output minus source voltage because our output voltage is always greater in boost converter now i am going to apply kcl kirchhoff current law in this node okay so inductor is applying power so it will be the current flowing from inductor it will be i l and the current is going to capacitor and also to our load so current to capacitor is i c and current to load it is i o so at this node i am going to apply kcl so i l is the coming coming here then it will go to i c capacitor and load so we will get i l equal to i c plus i naught okay at this node from this we will get i c equal to i l minus i naught this is our fourth equation so when switch is off we are having two sources our inductor will also act as a voltage source it is discharging see we have two sources so this is a boost converter so our output is getting voltage from two sources in source voltage is also a source inductor is also will act as a source so it will get voltage our output will get voltage from two sources here the capacitor will get charged since capacitor and resistor are connected in parallel both will have the same voltage so capacitor will get charged and our load will get power from both inductor and also from source voltage now i am going to write volt second balance in an inductor what is that in an inductor there will be two processes one is charging and the second one is discharging so the charged voltage is getting discharged so sum of that will be equal to zero so charging is during t on so this is my inductor voltage so during t on inductor will have a voltage during t on plus inductor will have a voltage during t off and that polarity will get reversed also so during t off inductor will have a voltage the sum of that will be equal to zero so first of all what is our inductor voltage during t on from the first equation we got when switch is on we got inductor voltage as source voltage so instead of vl i am going to write here source voltage now t on we know duty cycle d is equal to t on divided by t from this we will get t on equal to dt so i am going to write dt here now this is a discharging phase so instead of plus i am going to put minus because whatever getting charged in this inductor is getting discharged so i am going to put minus here then vl vl is the inductor voltage when switch is off what is my inductor voltage when switch was off inductor voltage it is vco minus vs so i am going to write vco minus vs here then t off what is t off t is the total time that is t on plus t off from this i will get t off is equal to t minus t on put this t on here so i will get t minus t on what is t on t on it is dt dt okay so i will write t minus dt now okay so i will get t of equal to t minus dt so instead of t of i am going to write t minus dt equal to zero now i am going to open this bracket okay so first of all i am going to open this bracket here it will be vs dt then minus so v0 multiplied by t it will be v0 t 
v0 multiplied by minus dt. So it will become minus v0 dt, then minus vs into t, then minus vs minus dt it will become plus vs dt equal to 0. Now here we have a negative sign. So when I am going to open vs dt minus v0 t minus and minus it will become plus v0 dt minus and minus it will become plus vs t minus and plus it will become minus vs dt equal to 0. From this plus vs dt minus v dt will get cancelled and we can write the similar terms vs t I am going to put here then the remaining v0 terms I am going to put in the other side then it will become minus v0 dt plus v0 t. If I am going to rearrange this first of all I am going to write v0 t minus v0 dt. Here v0 t is common so I am going to take that outside. So it will become v0 t I am going to take it outside then it will become 1 minus d. So v s t will be equal to v0 t into 1 minus t. t and t will get cancelled then v0. v0 is my output voltage. I will get 1 minus t will come to the denominator side. It will be v s divided by 1 minus d. So this is my output voltage equation. In the next video we can learn how to draw different waveforms related to boost converter and also we can learn how to find different equations related to boost converter.